Welcome to Cooking with Chelsea. This is the post-appendix pandemic apocalypse pasta. I just got my appendix out two days ago. Yes, I am on Vicodin. We are cooking creamy miso pasta today. Steven's not even chopping anything. Doing extra work. <laughs> He's doing extra work. But I'm just a dumb husband. <laughs> You have to boil your pot of water with some kosher salt and then put the pasta in. I like to use this dried pasta nest. They're really good. What's a pasta nest? I don't remember that. It's just like where birds lay their eggs when they can't find branches. Don't forget to save one and one fourth cup of the pasta water. Why pasta water? Because you're going to use it for the sauce. Say sauce. Sauce. There's an old wives tale that says if you throw pasta against the wall and it sticks, then it means it's done. Shit. Can you eat that? While we wait for the pasta to cook, I'll show you my appendix scars. One, two, three. Did it hurt? Yeah. There are only three ingredients needed for this pasta. First, we have three tablespoons of red miso. You can also use white miso. One cup of grated parmesan and five tablespoons of butter. Yum. Mm. So now the butter, the miso, and the pasta water is in the pan, and we're gonna stir it with a whisk and break it down until it's liquefied. Add the pasta. Mm. And the parmesan. So if you've made cacio e pepe before, you're gonna do the same exact movement. You're gonna kind of vigorously stir it, which isn't the best thing for me to do when I just had my appendix Want me out. to do it? No, because it's a technique I have to do. I could do it. Baby, fold it nice. You said aggressive. No, but delicate. Stop. This is a delicate pasta that we're, it's delicate, it's beautiful. Just fold that. Look how amazing that looks. That looks so fucking good. Mmm. Mmm. I want some. Mmm. 